What's up guys and welcome back to Car For Sale Simulator. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, your boy had one too many brewskis and couldn't back away from the blackjack table. So we ended up losing pretty much all of our money, uh, but we're now back up to 55,000 buckaroonies. So the first place we're gonna head out to today is none other than the car market. We basically just need to keep buying and selling vehicles, trying to make a profit wherever we can. So we'll have a look around, see what's what's tickling our fancy, you know, what's what's frying our onions. Seeing a lot of vehicles here that are just way, way too expensive for us. Even this Mercedes, what was this one? Like 67,000, I think? Yeah, 67. I mean, I'll try to bargain with them. I will offer you 55,000 and we'll see if you'll even think about going there. Really? Dude, I feel like we just got a steal. I didn't really look at like how many how many miles or kilometers this one has. But that's fine. Let's just cut right through this crowd of people. You think we're driving a Mustang? Solomon, my man. How's it going? Okay, just just a little bit of repairing. Not too bad though, not too bad. It's already got the wheels and tires that I probably would have put on it anyways, and it looks like it's pretty well slammed. So we might not even have to put very much money into this. Let's just hope that I didn't overpay for it. Seemed a little fishy that that lady was willing to, to part with it for that price. I'm thinking that this has a drift kit on it though. Like it, it has to, it's way too slidey. It really doesn't? Wow, okay, the handling is just that bad. So let's put the racing kit. I don't have any more money. We kind of spent all of our money on it. So I guess we're just gonna bring it right across the street and we'll take a few photos of it, get it listed for sale. We might be able to refuel it as well. Yeah, okay, almost a almost hundred dollars though, just to fill this thing up and Let's get out our sponge here. Give her a quick wipe down. And then we'll see how much money we're gonna be able to make from this thing. I, I got a good feeling about it. I mean, it's a nice car, but again, I just, I'm kind of under the impression that we might have overpaid for this. We're gonna list this Mercedes for 150,000 buckaroonies. We only paid 55,000 for it. And I also made sure to put not a scam in the title and changed our dealership name to not a scam. Just so people know we're not, oh, it's really already, just so people know we're not scamming them. It's already nighttime. Great, great, that's fine. You know what? We can just wait to sell that thing in the morning. Got an auction today at 12 p.m. Definitely gonna make our way out there, but that means we're gonna have to sell the Mercedes before that. Oh, also, get our sponge out. Start cleaning the cleaning the vehicles for the day. Good morning, ma'am. How can I help you? What are what are we thinking price-wise on the on the Mercedes? A hundred and six thousand dollars. Again, we only paid fifty-five thousand for this vehicle. I'm. I'm really just wanting to take that right here, right now, but this gentleman did just walk up. But there we go. We've got $102,000 now. Let's hop on in. I, I was calling this a panda. Turns out this isn't a Fiat Panda at all. I had to Google what a Fiat Panda actually looks like, and this ain't it. I mean, they're close. It's still a hatchback. It's still a Fiat, obviously. But it is actually a, oops, gotta cut the ignition. A Punto? Is that right? Yeah, this says Panta. That's why I just assumed it was a, a panda. You just gonna keep rolling, dog? There we go. Sal, what's going on, brother? 300 bones. Oh, we are stupid early. So I'm gonna head over here to Jack Junkyard and we'll see if we can't make a little bit of money. Really, dog? You don't even have any vehicles over here. Am I just supposed to hit these rocks? For real, what happened? You've changed. You've changed. This is all we got. This is all we got. One little bitty intercooler. What are you uh, gonna give us for that? $20. That was totally, totally worth it. Don't worry, Sal. We're back. 
just in the nick of time. One second until the first one hits the block. A Chevelle. We've got another Chevelle here. $61,000, only 5,200 miles. We'll see how many people are really interested in this. I might go for it. I don't think we bought one of these before, so maybe. I don't know if it's worth more than 72,000, but I'm gonna go for it. There we go, we've secured one vehicle for $73,000. That is quite a bit of money. And then we've got a Coda. I think one of you had told me that's supposed to be a Skoda, maybe? Or maybe not, that could be a completely different vehicle. I have no idea. If it stays under 28, I'll probably bid on it. If I don't act now, we might not get another shot, so... Let's go for it. There it is. Alright, we're leaving here with two vehicles. Love that for us. Actually, we don't even have to stay for the whole time, right? We can just back out and then once the auction is done, they'll just be parked over here. Sal, I want you to be honest with me, okay? You're not ever gonna raise your rates, right? You wouldn't do that. It's always gonna be 300 bucks. Okay, good talk, good talk. Tell the wife I said hi again. I don't know why I keep saying that. That's just, it's super weird. Okay, uh, first things first, let's add fuel to both of those. I'm assuming they're gonna be a little light. And then we'll check out the car panel. Only 1% damage, that's really not that bad. Probably should have looked at that when we were buying it, but it's all good. 25% painted, and this one is nearly mint condition. Let's send this one over to the repair facility, and we'll send this other one over there too, just so we don't have to, you know, transport it. We've only got $1,200 to our name at the moment, so I'm not really sure we're gonna be able to do all that much, but we'll do what we can, and it looks like that's gonna be about it. Even slamming the suspension, it's gonna cost $120. That's fine. Oh, let's change the let's change the plate though, of course. This is more so just for good luck, you know? Good luck with the with the sale. Alrighty, just before it gets dark on us, I'm gonna go around and just get these both cleaned up. Yep. Right on right on cue. And then we can come back here in the morning and we'll get the two of them listed for sale. Only $47 in the back pocket. Money is very, very tight at the moment. The title for this one is just gonna be real simple, Chevelle. That's a great band, by the way. And we're gonna list it for $175,000. We've got a little pick for it right there, 5,200 kilometers on it. There she be. Now on to the Coda or Skoda. I'm just gonna put Skoda up there. I, I'm pretty sure that that's what that is supposed to be, but of course, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And this one will list for $125,000. There we be. We'll let her eat. We really can't do much right now with only $27. So, gotta wait for somebody to walk up here and try to buy one of these. How we doing today, ladies? Feeling good? Hello, hey bro. Listed for $175. You're thinking $85. The other lady is thinking $89, if I remember right. Sorry, ma'am, I didn't mean to just back away immediately. I'm just trying to figure out what sort of price. 86. Okay, let's see. Let's see if she would go 95. No, let's see if she'd go 100,000. Surely, okay, now she's saying she's ready to leave. 100,000 bucks, there it is. And now we can actually throw away the trash that's been chilling over there. Ma'am, how are you doing? Hi, hello. If you buy it, you're very lucky because it's barely been driven. That's kind of accurate, I suppose. Yeah, only 5,700 kilometers, $38,000. We paid 26 for it. Would you do $50,000? We're a master bargainer, come on. Okay, not, not going for that. What about 45,000? I realize this isn't near as nice of a vehicle as the one we just sold before it, but there we go. We're up to 145,000 buckaroonies again. And then one of you had mentioned that I need to be looking in upgrades to be able to buy the house, but I don't see anything in either one of these categories to do that. What about maybe, maybe we do have to put a little bit of money 
into our container home before we're actually allowed to buy the the better home. We can also change the exterior color to black. And then while we're while we're just doing this, we might as well upgrade the office a little bit as well. 7500 bucks though. Why is that so expensive? Let's just settle for maybe buying this little rug for a, a thousand bucks. That seems seems pretty good. And then why would we need that? It's like a speed bump. Thousand bucks, sure. Why not? Why not? Right? Thousand more dollars for those. That's kind of pretty, and a thousand for that. All right. I think I think that'll do. I don't want to spend a, a ton of money on this place, but it does look quite a bit nicer now. Gotta be honest, it does look quite a bit nicer. So, let's head back into the neighborhood. I gotta try, you guys. I gotta try to at least buy that house again. Just, I'll give it one attempt. If it's if it's still not working, that's fine. It's just not meant to be. Survey says... Oh, now it doesn't even say buy house. It just says house. But yeah, still, still not working, so... That's cool. We're gonna hit up the car market instead. I wasn't really seeing any vehicles that I really liked in the neighborhood anyways. This is that Buick. $60,000. Why is it so expensive? It's just a Buick, you know? Just a Buick. Got a couple of hatchbacks in here. Some definitely better looking than others. Another Buick. Panel van. BMW hatchback over there. What about the Charger? I feel like we should be able to make a decent amount of money on a on a Charger. 93,000 kilometers, still asking 22,000. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. What about this spaceship looking deal? Uh, a Honda, apparently it's supposed to be a Honda. Ooh, low mileage, or kilometers, I'm into that. Let's see if you would take 5,000, since you're asking nine. I was expecting a higher offer. That's that's fair. How about 6,500 bones? Price is bothering me. Okay, not acceptable price. Let's uh, let's go 7,500. Surely you'd go for that. There it is. There it is. Again, no idea what this is like loosely based off of, but we'll send it to the repair facility and. We'll go take a closer look at it. The next morning. Got some bills to pay today. Got a couple of unpaid bills. Hopefully it's not like an arm and a leg. We'll find out. Go to mytax.com. 11,000. Oh, that hurts. Oh, that really hurts. But hey, we're making some decent money now. I suppose I'm not too worried about it. But we'll head back across the street into the accessory bay. And we'll start getting this thing outfitted with whatever we possibly can. Racing kit, of course. Can't do TCS or ESP. Turbo. Nitrous. Slammed. On its nuts, of course. Not going to mess around with the lights too much. 420. 69. As we do. 30 bones. And let's go with... Maybe the BBS Style 5s. For this one. I gave it a quick sponge bath. I decided not to paint this one. I just didn't really think that it needed to be uh, to be resprayed. But let's head back to carforsale.com and we'll get this one listed for $75,000. I know that's like way, way too much, but then people might actually talk us down. Um, the title I'm just going to put or best offer for obvious reasons and we'll get her Listed now we do still have a decent amount of money in the back pocket. So Let's head to the neighborhood and we'll see what we can find got a very heavily damaged Dodge Charger right here, but it only has 15,000 kilometers on it, which is very very low But yeah, we're gonna be spending a decent amount of money just repairing this thing. Let's see if this lady would go for like 16.5 OBO Surely, okay, she's not gonna go for that. What about 17.5? Okay, 20. 20,000. Final offer. Just go for it. I, I knew she would. I knew she would. I'm not gonna drive this one back. We'll get it sent to repair since it does have quite a bit that needs to be repaired. And we'll see what these customers are thinking. Oh, she's leaving. Hey, bro, hello. Listed for 75,000. You're thinking 15? 
If you're thinking 15, you would probably do 17, right? It's going to be my first counter offer. There it is. She decided to take it anyways. All right. Let's go see how much it's going to cost to repair this this charger over here. Ricardo, got me a good deal. 1100 bucks. Not bad, not bad. Now over into the accessory bay. Oh, this thing spits flames. Or at least it did. Let's go with racing kits. Add ESP, add turbo and nitrous. Slam it on its nuts as we do. You guys kind of know the deal by now, right? 420, 69 for 30 bones. And as far as the rims go, I do want to switch them up, but probably... Probably to these. Those look kind of like SRT-esque, right? They almost look like the SRT4, like Dodge Neon or, or Caliber wheels or rims. Now we can put her in reverse Terry and fingers crossed, there's nobody inside the paint booth. Look at that. That's actually a rare occurrence. There's usually always somebody in here. Are we still gonna be able to spray it? I guess so. Okay, um, let's go with Maybe a red? Maybe a really, really bright red? We probably don't need to be painting this vehicle right now. But it's just one of those things that I feel like I have to do on this one. We haven't done it so far in this episode, so might as well, right? Next up then, bring it right back across the street. We'll get her cleaned up, take a photo of it. If we have time, it's gonna start getting dark on us. Yeah, like there just, there just ain't enough time in the day. Let's get the office closed up. We'll head back home and head to bed. In the morning, I gotta make sure I remember to uh, spend some of our skill points. We should we should have two, I think, now. Let's have a look. We've got two, there it is. All right, so we could do the car wash machine, clean your cars faster using a car wash machine, or low damage. I'm thinking, I'm thinking car wash machine. It might be, considerably faster than using our than using our sponge. Yeah, look at that. Now we have a car wash gun. No sound effect to this. Kind of surprising. But we are definitely able to clean a dirty much much faster with this thing. For the charger, just going to put charger as the title. Got a nice photo of it right there. We paid $20,000 and we have almost 5,000 into it. So I'm gonna list it for 125,000 buckaroonies. There we are, we'll let her eat. And then it looked like the car market is open again. Oh, the office is dirty. I see, we have a customer. What are we thinking? Hi, hey dude, $29,000. Yikes, dog. That is, that is a big yikes. How's about $50,000? Would you go for that? Okay, probably not, that's fine, that's fine. What about $40,000? Still no, still no. You know what, Scram, Scram, we've got another guy here. He's wearing a suit, so surely, surely he'd be more willing to, uh, to negotiate with us, 29,000. Would you go for 45? You would not, okay? Would you go for 40,000? Come on, dude, I need this. I need this, you need this. Okay, guess not. $35,000, final counter offer. Still not gonna go for it. Okay, then you scram too, dude. Would you go 35? Come on, I know you want it, I know you want it. It's red, there it is. Red means fast, and now we can actually get that trash bag. Okay, let's head out to the car market, and this will probably be the final car, assuming we find one here, the final car that we purchase for the day. We're back up to $100,000. We might be able to snag an RWB. Maybe, if the price is right, right? It's not. 186000 Sorry, bud. Don't want don't wanna to waste your time. The R8, I remember being like half a milli or something. Yeah, that's that's definitely not gonna happen, at least not today. Got a mini truck, no idea what that is. Uh, BMW, TT drop top. Maybe we could go for the TT. 
12% damage, 74,000 kilometers, asking 34,000. Would you take 25? That seems like a good price. I was expecting a higher offer. Okay, then 27.5. How about that? How about that? Really starting to get angry. Okay. How about 29,000? Surely you would go for 29. There it is. All right. Probably overpaid. Actually, you know what? I don't even want to drive it. Don't even want to drive it. Let's add fuel and we'll send it on over to repair. What's the damage today, Christopher? Only 240 bones. Not too shabby. Let's see what we can do to the TT racing kit, of course. Turbo nitrous. Slamming it. We gotta do it. We gotta do it. On its nuts. I'm actually gonna go for a different plate number this time around. Let's go with these. They seem very Audi-esque. Very fitting. 5,000 buckaroonies right there. Hit the ignition. And again, just fingers crossed. We're gonna put her in reverse Terry. There's nobody already in the paint booth. Again, love that. Quick respray, we're just gonna do black on that. Make it very, no, not very, very smooth. Why does that look so bad? Let's maybe dial that back a little bit. What if we added some metallic into that? Would that help? No, it's just, it's just a texture thing. Oh, there is a sound effect. It's just the same as the sponge. I'm not really sure how many times I've circled around this vehicle now, but it's still somehow like 7%, yeah, 7% dirty. I don't get it. Maybe because it's missing the roof, I can't actually, can't actually clean that portion of the vehicle. But anyways, let's put that away and we'll get our tablet out, take a quick photo, get it listed for sale. I don't even really remember how much we paid for this. 29,000, we have $7,200 into it. So let's list this for 150,000, right? Might as well. Let's change this to not a scam. Add our photo and list it. Now we wait. Good afternoon, sir. How we doing today? Lovely day to buy a vehicle, especially a drop top TT, right? 47 thousand okay not terrible what about 55 and now it's nighttime go for it brother 55 come on there it is all right so we're up to 124,000 buckaroonies we did a little bit of of upgrading updating to our to our office but i do think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today so once again if you guys did enjoy please leave a like Leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.